So, Luke Akers, Israel's number one fan, has gone after Mick Lynch over an interview he did with the New Statesman. That'll be the same Luke Akers who sits on Labour's National Executive Committee, the party built by trade unions attacking a trade union leader. Now, for anyone familiar with Akers, and of course what passes for a Labour party under the regime of Keir Starmer and David Evans, you might not be very surprised by this. For those of us blocked by Luke, he does hate being challenged over his views after all. This is what he said. There's been a lot of calling out of Mick Lynch over his bizarre remarks about Ukraine, not enough about his reprehensible comments about the genocide and gulag system being perpetrated by China against the Muslim Uyghurs, which he randomly compares to Leicester. So there's some unpackaging to do here. Has Mick Lynch been called out over his comments on Ukraine? I took a look at Twitter, the go-to social media platform, and looking for real-time opinion, and for the most part, no. Simply isn't true. Check for yourselves. People mostly accept that Mick had an opinion to share. Ukraine has had corrupt political leaders in the past. There were people in Ukraine playing with Nazi imagery. We know the Azov Battalion in Ukraine does indeed sport Nazi symbols. We also know that in 2021, there was a UN Assembly vote on whether to pass a resolution to combat the glorification of Nazism, neo-Nazism, and other practices that contribute to fueling contemporary forms of racism. And it passed 130 votes to two with 49 abstentions. Which two countries voted against that? the US and Ukraine. As for the China issue, Atrius does really have a thing about China. It's okay for him to be a paid-up apologist for an apartheid state, so hypocrisy! But that aside, in no way did Lynch undermine this in what he said. He's simply sceptical of anything coming out of the mainstream media about it, citing the lies these same sources said about Iraq and weapons of mass destruction. And the slave labour in Leicester is an open secret, according to Sky, with sweatshop textile factories abusing up to 10,000 people. So it has precedent too. Lynch's final point is likely what boiled Acres pissed the most when he simply states, why highlight the plight of Uyghurs and not Palestinians? Why pick and choose? Surely we should condemn all, or does that not fit the director of We Believe in Israel Acres narrative? They're trying to coordinate Mick Lynch. We've seen this play before. Don't fall for it again.